you can cross validate and grid search an entire pipeline. The pre-processing steps will automatically occur after each cross validation split, which is critical if you want meaningful scores. Okay, this is a big one. Um, let's start with the basics. Quick recap, what is cross-validation? It is a model evaluation procedure that simulates model performance on future data. So we want to know how a model is going to perform on new data in the future so that we can choose between models today. Now, it has some inherent limitations, namely that we are assuming the future will be just like the past, but despite its limitations, it is a super useful tool when used properly. Okay, so let's move on to the code here. We are doing some pre-processing using one hot encoder and count vectorizer. We are using a logistic regression model. We make a column transformer, one hot encode the sex column, vectorize the name column. We make a pipeline of our column transformer and our logistic regression classifier. Okay, here's the first big piece. We're going to cross-validate the entire pipeline. So we will actually pass the pipeline to cross-val score, not just the model. So here's what happens when we do that, and this is the critical piece. First, cross-val score splits the data into five pieces. Four-fifths is designated the training data, one-fifth is designated the testing data. On the four-fifths, it uses the column transformer to prepare the data, and then it trains the logistic regression model. On the one-fifth, it uses the column transformer to prepare the data, and then it makes predictions using the trained model. Then it evaluates the accuracy of those predictions. Okay, All of that occurs one time in cross-validation, and then it repeats that process four more times. So we get five cross-validation scores, and then we take the average of those scores. Okay, so why is this so important? Why am I telling you all of this? Here is the key point. The key point is that cross-val score splits the data and then applies the pipeline steps. That results in more reliable or meaningful scores than the alternative, which is pre-process the data and then use cross-validation on just the model. Okay, the alternative I'm not showing because it's not the right way to do things is to pre-process all of your data first and then pass the pre-processed data to cross-val score and just pass the model object to cross-val score. Now, why is it better to cross-validate a pipeline in which the pipeline will take care of the pre-processing? Well, it's complicated to explain, but in short, pre-processing before splitting the data doesn't properly simulate reality. Splitting then pre-processing does simulate reality. And the whole point of cross -file score is to simulate the future reality so that we know how the model is going to perform. Okay, So in other words, do what I'm showing you here uh, and you will be better off. Okay, there's even more to this tip, if you can believe it. So we are going to use grid search to find optimal tuning parameters for the pipeline. Now, normally you use grid search to tune a model, but it's even better to tune an entire pipeline. Why is that? Because you might want to tune some of the pre-processing parameters and not just model hyperparameters, okay? So how does it work? Well, first we specify the parameters we want to search and what values to try for those parameters. The tricky part here is that you have to specify the step name and the parameter name. So the name of the first step in the pipeline is column transformer. The name of the first transformer in the column transformer is count vectorizer and the name of the parameter within that we want to tune is min df and we put two underscores between each of those okay 
The name of the second step of the pipeline is logistic regression, and we want to tune uh, its C parameter. And then again, uh, we want to tune the penalty parameter. And for each of these things, we are telling it here are the values I want to try. Okay? Now, as far as how did I know which values to try, what parameters to tune, um, you can figure that out through some research and some experience, but it's not super obvious what to do and how to do it really well. Okay. So let's set up our grid search. So we import grid search CV. We create an instance. We pass the pipeline to that instance. We pass the parameters, and then we do grid.fit, which does the actual search. Now grid search CV tries all possible combinations of these parameters. So it will run five-fold cross-validation um, two times three times two, so 12 times it will run five-fold cross-validation. And um, there are lots of ways to look at the results, but usually you just want to know what's the best score it found. And it's 0.822, which is better than the 0.802 that we saw without any tuning. And then we also are going to look at the parameters that produce that best score. And here they are the min df of 1, a c of 10, and a penalty of l1. Now those, um, if we were satisfied, those are the parameters we would use when making predictions because we believe those to be the best. Okay, <laughs> I know that was a lot. Um, this is not, what I've just outlined is not a perfect process. It does have some weaknesses, but overall this is super useful to do and know how to do.